Hello. Um, I've been asked to do a quick, just a quick Q&A video. Um, so I'm going to be answering a few very, very simple questions uh, for anyone who cares and wants to have a listen. Um, my name is Dave Clark and I have been a maker for the past, well, professionally since I was about 16 years old. Um, I'm 36 at the moment, so do the maths on that one. And I've always been making things, like since I was a kid. And now with the maker movement, the way it is and the way things, the accessibility of things with 3D printing and so on, um, it really made a lot more sense for me to have a bit more dig and, you know, start doing some inventions of my own. So, my uh, Wallabot FX guitar effect control project uh, really came about for a couple of reasons. Number one, the Wallabot, for those who um, are uninitiated, is a very, very cool 3D imaging sensor. Um, and it effectively uses radar to try and get out all sorts of things. It's so sensitive it could pick up someone, someone breathing in the room, for example. It can track objects in 3D space. It can see through objects. It can see through walls. It's a pretty cool piece of kit. Now, over on Hackster, they were running a, a contest to use uh, the Wallabot, you know, in, in different ways. And I immediately saw that as the opportunity to pair that with my second love, which is music and guitar, especially guitar music. And I took the Wallabot and made it into the Wallabot FX. And I'll put the link in the in my video um, below. And effectively what that does is it enables a guitarist to have hands-free musical expression of his guitar effect. Um, have a look at the video. I'm not going to go too, too much detail, but have a look at the video. But absolutely was... Uh, it, it tied together two of my passions, which are electronics and making and guitar three projects <laughs> there's a few different things to be honest and 3d printing and you know all of these things and it all came together and it and it worked really really well so the, the wallabot is something it's something like i've never used before now i've used sensors before i've made sensors in past projects using infrared for example being able to sort of detect objects in the way and in a very rudimentary way being able to detect distance and things like that. I've used ultrasonics in, in past projects and, and these are all well and good but what they tend to do is they'll only be able to tell you how far away something is. They're not going to be able to tell you you know whether it's uh, above your head or, or down to your knees or you know down to the right hand side or left hand side. It's kind of like it, if, it's, if it's in its field of view it will buzz and it will chirp and, and sense it. Wallabot's not like that. You know, the Wallabot, you can set up a viewing area and it will be able to tell you that. And you can actually specify how many objects you want it to pick up. So you might only want to, you know, for it to pick up the biggest object, for example, just one object. Um, and it, which is exactly what I did in my case with my project. And it just basically meant that I was able to sense everything in 3D space. And that's something, as a, as a maker and with sensors and things, I've never actually been able to do before, which is very, very cool. Technology has been at the forefront of music creation for a long time. Now, technology itself, of course, has changed so much in even the last 20 years. It's, it's absolutely astounding what you can do with a PC these days. But technology is, going to, is, is always going to drive musical innovation. Um, but for me, it's all about how, how you can utilize that technology to benefit you know, instruments that already exist. You know, the guitar is not going to disappear suddenly because, oh, we've got an electric, you know, sorry, electric guitars, of course, exist, but some kind of synth guitar. No, that's, that's not going to happen. You know, the, the, the emotional connection to an instrument is, is too much. You know, the uh, same analogy would be a piano. You know, you, you can have the best sounding synthesizer in the world, but it's never going to be quite the same as that acoustic piano. It's the same with guitar. So what I can see with technology is it complementing it and it kind of exactly what I did with the Wallabot FX is to take you know a, a guitar which has been around for 
50 years, for example, as an electric guitar, and pair that up with, you know, ultra modern, brand new technology that really has, has not existed for very long whatsoever. Um, and the first thing I, like I say, the first thing I wanted to do was just see how I could use this to benefit me as a musician and benefit others as musicians to see how they could actually control their effects differently. Um, and I like to think I achieved that. It was, it was, it was, it worked. You know, I, I didn't know it was going. I didn't know if if it was going to work, but it did. You know, pairing up basically four things. I took a Wallabot. I took a Raspberry Pi. I took uh, a servo driver, and I took three servos. I stitched them together. A little bit of Python code. Nothing too stressful. And I was up and running really, really quickly. Um, and actually, I think that's actually testament to the Wallabot more than anything. Um, it's really, really well documented. Um, so you can like, dig straight in, especially if you're into Python. You can use it on any platform, of course. Um, you don't have to compile anything. I had to learn Python because I've never, I've never dealt with Python before, but it, I highly recommend it to anyone, really. It's really, really easy to get into. Syntax is super simple, so absolutely. Anyway, that's just been my little short video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Click like, click subscribe. Um, there's always new videos coming on, on my channel, um, different projects I'm working on, little snippets like this. Anything from computer animations to 3D printing to coding to Fusion 360 rendering, which is kind of one of my cute little things at the moment. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, um, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.